investigating a motive. President Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farooq Salam. The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. Yo, me ninja brother! George, good to see you up and about. How you feeling? Never better, nah? No pain, no more star while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, nah? That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! Me been here you go while I got them scorn in the base. Why the rasa you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aww. Besides, I thought you didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their hearts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, right? They import those brains legally. For medical purposes, it's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Right, I... Hold that thought! Area. You're in violation of state and federal law. Guess you'd better arrest me then. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. 
The road is blocked by barricades. We will proceed through the buildings. You will follow me. What's your status? They trashed my car. I'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Do you really have to do this? Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Why not bend it when it can save innocent lives? Raiden. Boris, listen to me. That VR training. They'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set on POWs, civilians. It'll be one atrocity after another. Like what you went through. We can't have any more Jack the Rippers. You saw what happened with George. I'm doing this, Boris. I have to. I can't save those kids from becoming cyborgs, but I can stop them from becoming murderers. Say you succeed. Say you get all the brains back. Then what? Just so happens I know un great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor. But he cannot... You won't change my mind, Boris. This is my fight now. And your wife and son? What of them? They're in New Zealand. Safe. Rose would understand why I have to do this. <sighs> All right, damn you. You do realize Marshall has the contract for law enforcement throughout the city. They are the law in Denver. Yeah, we've met. Well then. <clears throat> Officially, Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. And a pain in the asshole. Now, increase your codec encryption. Do not worry about the lag. And unofficially? I'll do all I can over the codec to help. I do not like what those mudaki are doing any more than you. Spasiba, Tavarish. Spasiba. Come <laughs> on. 
find an elevator inside that office. Use it to reach the roof. Traveling atop buildings will minimize enemy encounters. <laughs> Status. I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. It is simple, really. So simple that I can continue to monitor your status and world marshal security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. Quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permissions to overwrite their plans. Nevertheless, the data I did find should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think of the data! The research! Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. This cannot be! Raiden, what's happened? You are supposed to be stronger than this!
What? Ah! Raiden? No! No!
You cannot proceed any further via the rooftops. There is a freight railroad underground. The elevator ahead will take you to it. The railroad. It would appear so. Likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. I have not noticed you. Do not expose yourself.
There is a maintenance shaft up ahead. Use it to return to the surface. I'll just buy a quick souvenir or two for Rose, and that'll be it. Raiden, we must hurry. Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. I simply do not find them entertaining.
Strider! Avoid fighting if you can! Next objective marker. a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? They're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their BMC contract. Usually, they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. 
Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the Nano suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh.
You are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah, I guessed as much. Sides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phenom Pen taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up in the killing fields. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. It's controlled by something greater. Means. The DNA of the soul. The sheep. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair, all moons. How about food? Shit. Is that a meme? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. Ugh. Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. 
in America. My friends. My family. They helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! Oh. The bit about my sword. That means of justice stuff. I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you. All this is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This, this is madness. You do it. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
one Fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later. 